KWG Paint Veins. As promised, I decided to make this video here about how to program the loader. Um, click here if you want to see the uh, actual review. This is not a review of the loader. This is an instruction, instructional video about programming the loader. Um, so yeah, this is the loader here. All right, again, click the lid here if you want to see a review. So here we go. Inside the loader. Uh, you will see this thing here, it's the Invert Halo 2 instruction guide. If you open it up here, like this, fold it all the way down and flip it over, you get to programming, as you can see here that says programming. Wish I could get a better focus on the camera. This will tell you exactly how you program this entire loader, but that can be confusing sometimes, so I'm here to help you out. Basically what it's trying to tell you is that when you uh, when you turn on the Invert Halo 2, there's a little green light that starts up. It blinks once very fast, and then that light holds for a little bit, and then it starts blinking again. So watch. Blink, hold, and then it starts to blink. That means that the loader is on, and it starts working. Then you hold down the button, and it turns off. That's what that red light means. So watch this again. Blink, hold. All right. Now let's get to the a bit more difficult part of it. We've established that in the beginning interface, it blinks and then that light holds. During that hold, you want to hold down the button until the light turns red. Um, and then that red light will stay there for about one second. And then, uh, I'll show you what happens next. This is going to be really all happening really fast, so let me try and explain what happens before I do it. I'm going to push the button, it's going to blink once, and then it's going to hold that green light. During that hold of the green light, you push hold down the button again. The light will then turn red. Once you release the button, a green light will blink to how many times the speed of the loader is set. That is 1 through 6. And then, as soon as it does that, it will go to an orange light, which is the microphone sensitivity, which is also 1 through 6. Then, it will go to the red light and it will blink 1 or 2 times, depending on whether the feed stack is on or off. So, and then after that, it'll go green, and the green light will hold, and then it'll go orange, and then the orange light will hold, and then it'll go red, and the red light will hold. Then it'll turn off. So this is how, this is what it'll look like. So blink, hold, hold it, it turns red, let go, one, two, three, four, five, that's sensitivity. This is microphone. This is feed stack. Then it's going to hold, then it's going to hold, then it's going to hold turn off. So what you just saw there was it telling you what the current settings are with the blinks and then those holding when those lights hold that's how you know that's when you know to um, to, to hold it down and that's what you want to do. So I'm going to program the uh, the speed setting real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the button I'm going to hold it. It's red now. I'm going to release one, two, three, four, five, six, or five, one, two, three, four, one, two. Then at the green, I'm going to hold down the button until it turns red. Now it's ready for programming mode, so I'm going to release the button, and I'm going to click the button as many times as necessary. One, two, three, four, five, six. I just clicked it to how many, how fast I wanted the thing to go. Now for microphone sensitivity, I can hold it down so the button turns red, then 1, 2, 3, 4, and then it'll blink that many times. I've then changed the setting. Then for the feed stack, I can hold down the button for about a second, then I can click it, 1, 2, and now the feed stack is on or off. So yeah, that's how it, that's how it works. So really it's a lot of clicking, you just got to know what to look for. I'm going to show it to you all again. Blink, hold it, turns red, let go, shows you what the current settings are for feed, feeding, microphone sensitivity, and whether or not the feed stacks on or off. Then in the middle of these long holds here, you hold down the button until it turns red, and then you can click. One, two, three, four. And then it'll show you again like that. and then you can do that again. Then it'll turn off. So that's pretty much how you do it all. If there's any questions, just hit me up with a comment.